Hi, everybody. Welcome to our February um, Chief Chat. It's really March 1st because we thought it was a leap year, but it's not. So it's really the 28th. But if you don't tell anybody, I'm not going to tell anybody. Here's our February Chief Chat. If you missed uh, the, the riveting uh, presentation I gave at the council meeting the other night, um, it's available online. You can just uh, fast forward all the other stuff and look at us at the very end. It covers all the entire packet. The entire packet of information is online as well. So you can see all the stats, all the different things from the different divisions uh, that, you know, just don't have time to get into the weeds with sometimes. So please take a moment to, to look at that. Um, some of the 2021 numbers I want to just touch on very, very quickly um, are commercial burglaries are down 57 percent. That's a good thing. Our assaults were down 5% for 2021. Our thefts uh, were up 5%. Uh, that is still good compared to our 2019 numbers. So from our 2019 numbers, we're, we're still down 25%, but we did creep up a little bit from 2020. And 2020 was just kind of a compressed year because of the pandemic. So kind of on that, that ramble and that theft of auto thread here. Um, theft from autos, Again, we're, we're still seeing them. They're, they're still happening. Right now, we're seeing them in, in front of restaurants, shops, uh, hotels. People are, are rushing in to go get their uh, breadsticks at Olive Garden or whatever they're getting and leaving stuff inside the cars. So remember that the combination, lock the car and take the stuff out or put it in the trunk out of where it's not visible. So if you don't lock the car and there's nothing in it, they're still allowed to go in there and look. If you lock the car and you leave something visible, they're gonna break your window and take it. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the world we live in. So I know it's a pain. I know it, that, that extra 30, 40 seconds is a hassle. Breadsticks are calling you, but please take that half second to put stuff in your trunk. Get it out of, the, out of the view. Keep your stuff. You paid for it, it's your stuff. Try to hold on to it, okay? Another thing I wanna talk about is uh, guns. Uh, we did see an uptick in gun-related uh, incidents in 2021. Uh, it was up 20 incidents. So in 2020, we had 31 gun-related incidents. 2021, we had 51 gun-related incidents. Uh, we recovered 30, uh, 30 guns off the streets of Bowie. Uh, out of those 30 guns, 17 were ghost guns. If you don't know what a ghost gun in is, it's one of those uh, weapons that you put together piece by piece. And it doesn't have a serial number because you're getting different pieces from different places, and then you're doing the assembly yourself. So uh, it is a bit of an issue. I know there's some legislation that they're trying to look at this year. Some people are for and against it. Uh, if you get a chance to uh, take a look on the legislative website, you can decide for yourself. But uh, they are problematic because there's really no regulation, uh, and it's much easier to, to get your hands on an illegal weapon that way. So um, eight of those uh, were taken out of tra traffic stops. So uh, again, you know, traffic stops are important, not just uh, controlling speed, but also you never know uh, what you're gonna you know, find in a car every now and then. So keep in mind that if, if you get pulled over and you see an officer approaching in a strategic or tactical manner, that there's always a chance that there's a firearm in the car. We did get eight of them. So we wanna make sure that the officers uh, operate safely and, uh, and that everybody goes home at night, including the person in the car. So, so please, uh, you know, try to turn your lights on inside of the night, make it as safe as possible for the officer and make it as safe as possible for you. We also recovered eight out of uh, sitting vehicles. And what's that mean? That means that we've been getting uh, complaints about cars that are backed up into spots or in the corners and neighborhoods. And a lot of times they're either hanging out drinking or smoking uh, marijuana. Now, I don't care where you stand on the marijuana question. Uh, there's a, a time and a place uh, tucked away back into someone's neighborhood is not the, the time or the place. And especially if we're finding guns, We've, we're find, we found eight guns uh, out of people in those situations. So, uh, you know, we're probably going to be legalizing marijuana sooner than later. But, you know, we have to be careful when that activity includes a handgun. Uh, a decent amount of our shootings are marijuana involved, whether it's, it's an argument over selling or whatever. So we need to really, really be careful about what's happening in our neighborhood. You need to share the information with us. We need to try to do as much as we can to get these guns uh, out of our neighborhoods and off of our streets, but, you know, to try to reduce the number of people that are injured. Uh, we started 2022 off uh, with a, a slightly uh, high uptick in, in 
shootings. We've had nine shooting related incidents since the beginning of the year, including uh, the one at the town center where the gentleman was shot in the face with a flare gun after a road rage incident. Uh, Detective Howard did an outstanding job uh, tracking information down and following up leads and working with the rest of the department to, to close that out. Uh, so they did make an arrest on that. And the county was able to close and make an arrest on our homicide uh, that we had in January as well. So as always, we appreciate their partnership and uh, their resources. And uh, we're glad that the, uh, the family can hopefully have some closure. So uh, some happier stuff. We do have the crime map that's uh, on our website. Please look at it. It's interactive. You can drill down into neighborhoods. You can drill down looking for certain crimes. And uh, our good folks behind the scenes are working on trying to make it uh, even more valuable that you can see percentages and uh, comparisons of previous years. So uh, please, if you get a chance, check that out. We do have a drug take back uh, event on April 30th from 10 to 2 here at the station. We do have a Citizens Academy starts May 3rd. That's a 13 week uh, course where you find out what we do, how we do it, why we do it, uh, our thoughts upon it, our principles, our philosophies. So please, it's a very, very good course. A lot of good people put a lot of time and effort into making it a great experience for everybody. You don't have to like the police to take it. In fact, we kind of like doubters to come in because we kind of pull that curtain back, let them know who we are, let them know what we're about. And, uh, you know, you still have to like us on the way out either. But, you know, we want you to have that information so you can make uh, you know, a good decision, at least understand that we're trying to do the best we can for for you and the city. Uh, our camera rebate program is still up fifty dollars off of any camera uh, as long as it's pointing towards your exterior of the house inside the city. So please uh, take advantage of that. Uh, that information is on our website as well. And lastly, uh, we are working on our annual report. For the uh, six or seven people that read it last year, uh, you know, you guys are probably psyched about it. It's got some great information. Share it with your neighbor, your cousin, whoever else might be around because a lot of work goes into that. And it's a very, very valuable report that we hope uh, you'll take the time to read. That's it for the uh, end of March, uh, sorry, end of February. I gave the secret away. End of February. Uh, Chief Chat, see you again in March. Till then, be safe and happy.